Hi there, Cancers, Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your January 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Just a disclaimer before we start that my voice is still cracking right now, so <clears throat> um, please do pardon me for some hiccups here and there when it comes to the audio. Also, this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in and connect to each and every cancers out there. Just bear that in mind. So, um, yeah, let's start. Cancers, I kind of feel that this is definitely going to be a very powerful month for you guys because there is so much opportunity that can happen to you so much healing i kind of feel that there is an a feeling here not really a feeling but an essence of feeling ready is what i'm getting here there is a strong energy of feeling ready we have the nine of cups and the sun card here so this is really about uh, some form of emotional fulfillment something that you really really want really really desire is in focus right now maybe some of you guys are highly highly intuitive or maybe some of you guys know how to do magic and this is the time wherein you're focusing on uh, working your magic to manifest your hopes wishes and dreams to whatever venture that you are in concern with and you can actually manifest them if you do at this time in terms of your love life this could be a time we're in you are focusing on the feeling we're in you wanting you're wanting some form of emotional fulfillment and you are not really in concern of whether you are about to get it or not. It's like you are demanding the world or demanding a person that this is what I want. It has to happen. There is that type of energy that I'm getting here. So there is there's going to be a lot of information that you are going to find out during this time in terms of your situation it could be some form of communication that someone is about to tell you i'm getting here that you have a lot of plans a lot of ideas of what you want for the future while i'm not sure how you are going to get it or if you are going to get it i kind of feel that something is going to change your life this month or at the very least this is going to be the breaking point the starting point the starting point of that transformation of your life changing path in terms of maybe your love life or personal life I do see here that there is definitely going to be a new beginning. It could be that someone enters your life that changes things for you. Also, is possible during this time. So, this is going to be quite problematic if you are already in a relationship and then you meet someone else, someone new. That can, you know, create a big impact in your life of course that is just a possibility so i'm not saying that that is what's gonna happen I just kind of feel that some form of message or a specific person coming into your life can start things for you or change things for you and you are now you're also at the point wherein you are very emotional to a point wherein your emotions is sometimes quite explosive. <coughs> so 
I kind of feel that there's also a need for you to control this because you might enter a point of becoming either too optimistic or too too pessimistic on things wherein you know you might do things without much thought based on your moods so just keep that in mind we are getting here that there is definitely going to be a particular person in your life that is going to rock your world so whether you're single or in a relationship expect some form of of meeting with a particular person in your life it could be your your present partner though there could be some form of um venture between you and your current partner that can change things you know change the stagnancy of the relationship if there if things are actually stagnant between the two of you i just kind of feel that you know a lot of you guys have upset <coughs> an isolation some form of difficulty in a situation there are but i kind of feel that the essence here right now is you are now being focused or being called upon to think about what is truly worth it what is really worth it is the relationship truly worth it who is really worth it you know if you're dealing with more than one person you're being called to focus on who is going to be there for you for the long haul who is going to be the, be there for you for thick and thin for thick and thin <coughs> so sorry about that so you might enter a point wherein you feel stuck because you need to make a choice and you don't know what choice is the right thing to make so there will be a point of you know feeling melancholic or feeling feeling frustrated i feel or f you feel that you are un unable to move forward unable to move backward you cannot do anything to your current situation there is that energy there is that energy that you cannot do anything you might feel powerless but i kind of feel that the things that you are going to feel you need to accept them and don't run away from them because that is going to be the deciding factor of what's going to be manifesting for you for your life for the rest of your year even so if you are in a situation where you need to you know to turn down someone this could be the time to you know finally give them the answer that you're not making me happy anymore and this relationship is not fulfilling anymore and so you might have to do just that it's going to be hard but it's going to open a new chapter for you i do see here that you know there is an energy of new possibilities to come for you something life-changing some form of magic in the air could be manifesting some of you guys might be choosing a decision based on what makes them feel good what is the right decision to make it's not really more about the right decision to make rather but it's about what you feel that time is the right decision to make so that is really what you are going to be focusing on all i can say right now as an advice is that to be careful of the decision you make and make sure it's it, it is something that you are not going to regret 
because I kind of feel that there is going to be a fina- final answer, finality into this relationship. So, yeah. So, possibility that marriage is, is in the topic right now. I just kind of feel that for some of you guys, you are focusing too much about yourself to the point wherein you're not focusing on your partner. So there is some form of unbalance factor right there. And maybe you think that you deserve that, you deserve to focus on yourself. And if that is the case, then it's okay then maybe this could be a message where it you need to love yourself more and to do something make a decision for yourself because that is what makes you feel alive that is what makes you happy you're not you don't have to make a decision for the sake of someone else you don't have to make a decision that is not going to make you happy of course you have to make a decision that makes you happy I just kind of feel that just don't get overboard, you know, by, you know, giving in to giving in to manipulation, emotional manipulation. So just don't just don't stoop that low because I kind of feel that if you do that, things might be very dramatic. Things can be, you know, it could be something that you regret later on. So, so just do what is for you if things are justified, you know. Do something for yourself, for your own justice, I feel. Not really for the sake of getting back because that person hurt you if that makes sense so um yeah so there's definitely going to be a choice here and i kind of feel that for a lot of you guys a lot of your fears is creeping up on you but i can tell you that this can be a time of reflection to to think about what you really want and again like i said earlier what is worth it for you whatever that means whatever worth means for you is going to be the focusing energy so this could be something very personal this could be something in relation with a specific person choosing between two people those kinds of energy that is a possibility here i do get here that there could be problems in a relationship coping up in a relationship could be in the picture but there is going to be ongoing communication that can really improve a certain connection improve a relationship this could be a scenario wherein maybe um, a healing or a transformation about a certain relationship can take place talking to the person again and a healing can occur and manifest there is definitely going to be a restart going to be transpiring for you so this can happen in in different ways you can restart your whole life from scratch as a single person or you can actually restart the relationship from scratch wherein things have already fallen apart between you and a certain person and then suddenly something happened within the month of january that allows you both to start again start anew in the relationship it's very possible so there is going to be a major breakthrough for a lot of you guys so um let me just pick a card over here at the side to see the advice for cancer this January and we have here the practice the best way to be a good to be good at a skill is to practice 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 until you get it right 
So, and this really goes with relationships as well. If things don't work out the first time, don't be afraid to try it all again. But it's also very important that you guys take into consideration. You guys talk about what is not working in their relationship and address it. Because, you know, if you keep just repeating your relationship, repeating some form of scenario over and over again, and not addressing what is wrong, then things are never going to be improving, right? So, yeah, like I said earlier, there is some form of improvement in the picture here for you guys. Definitely in terms of relationship and in terms of some form of love affair. So we have here Jupiter in the sign of Aquarius. So in the 12th house. So, you know, this could be experimentation between you and your partner. For some of you guys, maybe... Um, There's going to be some form of very spiritual endeavor. Some form of spiritual healing can occur. And uh, talking to someone and learning something. I can feel that for some of you guys, you might be going to be in touch or in contact with someone from afar, someone overseas. And maybe they are from overseas and you wanting to to connect with this person again. Or this could be a scenario we're in. You're willing someone or you are willing to make the effort to do something to make things right. Like I said, there's going to be some form of improvement. The 12th house can be a very conflicting card, especially when it comes to relationship because before, before the improvement happens, before the, the good things occurs, you are going to be experiencing a lot of reflection, a lot of, a lot of testing times, a lot of, you know, looking into the box, looking outside the box, those kinds of things, there's going to be a lot of experiences that can uh, can be frustrating. It can test you, test your patience and test your own faith. So just keep that in mind. But the idea here is to lead you to transform a certain scenario. So if you have given up in a relationship or a connection or you have stopped trying this could be a scenario where in something is going to be transpiring that forces you to forces that scenario forces that relationship situation to change to transform one way or another something is really going to be happening so I kind of feel that whether you like the change or not, things are about to change because it's time. It's meant to change now. And that's really what you you need to know, you know? If a relationship is stagnant and no improvement, no growth is happening, then something is really wrong in that relationship. So do know that you don't have to be afraid of change and change is definitely going to be transpiring for you very soon so be aware of messages to come for you so check your emails or you know your spam because someone from you know may contact you maybe someone you don't know or not really don't know but someone you know but maybe you don't know that they are reaching out to you so be more of servant of what other people are doing in your life the efforts that they do because they are trying to make a difference 
in your life in your situation so um yeah there's a lot of opportunities for you guys cancers and all i can say is that your life throughout the year of 2020 is definitely going to change so whether you are ready or not things are going to move forward and that is really the biggest message that i have here for you guys thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i hope that this reading has resonated to to some of you guys i do know that it's not gonna resonate to each and every one of you guys but um yeah i hope that it has given you insight and clarity and to your situation and i'll see you guys next month